North Korea says its latest missile is a new hypersonic missile powered by liquid fuel. South Korea's military believes the projectile is still in a nation state of development and does not live up to Pyongyang's claims. But one thing is clear, the North is trying hard to penetrate South Korea's defense system. North Korea says it has test-fired a hypersonic missile dubbed the Hwasong-8. It has a sharp aerial vehicle in the warhead, and it is similar to the Chinese hypersonic glide vehicle known as the Dongfeng-17. A supersonic aerial vehicle is separated from a rocket at high altitude and flies like a glider. And thus, intercepting it is deemed difficult. It travels at high speed and has the ability to change course. North Korea claims has verified the steerability of the missile, the technological indices of the separated hypersonic aerial vehicle and the safety of the sealed liquid fuel ampule which has been introduced for the first time ever. Liquid fuel is infused right before the launch and it takes time to prepare, which makes it easy to detect in advance. But Pyongyang has apparently figured out how to conceal it. South Korean and U.S. military say the speed of the North Korean missile is only three times the speed of sound, whereas hypersonic speed is at least five times higher. The Joint Chiefs of Staff says the combined ROK U.S. forces have enough capabilities to detect and intercept this missile, which is presumed to be in a nascent stage of development. Pyongyang justified the latest missile firing by saying it needs to amp up its own defense capabilities. However, concerns are rising that the North is using missiles, originally a transportation means, as nuclear weapons. The U.S. representative for North Korea, Sung Kim, said Pyongyang's missile launch poses a threat to neighboring nations and is in violation of U.N. resolutions. Germany and France are urging the North to abide by international laws and respond to Seoul and Washington's propositions to have a dialogue.